Hello, hi everyone. My name is Megha Trivedi and I am a first year MBA student at IIM Sirmaur. I was a BMS finance graduate from University of Mumbai, post which I decided to go for CAT and uh, hence I always thought that I would be a part of an esteemed institute like an IIM. And thus began my journey which has been a complete roller coaster with uh, full of ups and downs excitement, anxiety, happiness, and whatnot. In fact, uh, it, it basically started in June 2019 when I first started preparing for uh, the CAT examination. So I practiced a lot of question papers and I made sure that I timed myself while practicing. And I, at the end of the day, uh, had this thing in mind to always analyze whatever I had practiced so that so that I could find out what all are my strengths and weaknesses and work upon them. This is one of the most important things to crack uh, the CAT exam and after I think six months of uh, practice I was ready for the D-Day uh, that was I think November 24th 2019 uh, when I appeared for CAT and uh, at that day, I knew what exactly my strategy should be. I was good in the first and the second section, uh, which was the reading comprehension and the um, reasoning section. But uh, I had practiced a lot and I could actually see my scores increasing in the third section. This was one of the most important section for me at least because I know that was my weakness. But at the end of the day, I realized uh, that uh, things can go unexpectedly. I had never thought that I would actually fall sick on the day of the examination. And that's when I realized that uh, there is no particular strength. Your actual strength is just your own determination and uh, your own will, willingness to stick with uh, whatever um, your goal is. Uh, so anyway, somehow I managed to give my exam. I wasn't feeling quite well. But anyway, um, I uh, did what I did and I anxiously waited for the results to roll out like I think it was one or two months in which uh, the results came out and uh, they were definitely more than what I had expected what I had in mind so that was a delightful experience for me and uh, after that I started preparing for the next part which is the interview and the GD round further the selection processes started in February to prepare for the GD and the interview round, I made sure that I kept abreast of all the current affairs that are happening and I also read informative articles online to know more and gain more knowledge in this field. Uh, for interview rounds, I uh, kept revising all those concepts that I had learned uh, in my undergraduation and uh, what, what all analysis could actually be interpreted in the real world for the same. And uh, while going for the interview, I always made it a point to make sure to talk to other candidates who are present there. Uh, so after that, for my interview rounds, they were quite well. The, the interview uh, panelists were quite pleasant. And uh, firstly, they would make, make me comfortable by asking me um, very general questions such as um, questions related to my background, what my hobbies were and uh, then why MBA, this is one of the most popular questions out there. And then a little technical questions such as um, um, anything related to balance sheet interpretation to economic policy analysis. But uh, the most important part is that you should always be confident and comfortable with whatever you've done and know that confidence uh, is the key. And after that, I anxiously waited again uh, for the results to roll out and finally at the end I converted four baby IIMs that is uh, IIM Sambalpur, Bodhgaya, Sirmaur and Jammu uh, and I was quite confused as to which IIM should I actually go to and thus I uh, researched a lot on like four parameters which was the batch size, placement, pedagogy and the location of the Institute, I decided to go with Sirmaur. Uh, further on, uh, thus started our journey with MBA in IIM Sirmaur. I am 
one of the three class representatives of the MBA 06 batch. And I am also a part of the student academic committee. In that capacity, I make sure that uh, I think about the uh, betterment of the whole batch. And I always aim and push limits for, uh, the, uh, for an inclusive growth. In fact, I have taken initiatives to do so as well. One of such initiatives is the inception of Toastmasters Club of I Am Sarmar, which is Kohenshaw. This made us the 13th IM to be affiliated to Toastmasters International. Toastmasters International uh, is an international uh, organization, it's a body that seeks to promote uh, communication, leadership skills and public speak, uh, speaking for the members. In fact, the people who are um, a part of our members have actually felt and quite evidenced this in their day-to-day -day life that they have a better confidence and command of their, over their speech. It has worked for the betterment of everyone in the, uh, in, in the club as well. They are now proactively speaking and participating in public events. Another such initiative is the establishment of the Himalayan Aum which is a student interest group which aims to bridge the communication gap that has occurred due to the pandemic when everyone was at home and uh, interpersonal connections were weakened. Now what we do is we publish a fortnightly magazine for the students of IM Sirmar in which we include all the club committee activities that have taken place and also testimonials and uh, in interviews of the people who are uh, a part of any college activity and are doing excellently well uh, to know to know about their announcements and how they achieved all the success that they did. We also post informative articles which uh, aims to keep all the MBA students abreast of the current trends. Other than that, for a personality development, we also make sure that we have a few articles in it that are uh, that, that are associated with the soft skill development. And lastly, we make sure that we keep it entertaining and fun. Through all these efforts and initiatives, I hope we all work for the development. We Silmorians strive to build an impeccable legacy.